If you don't have Microsoft Project or some other software specifically designed for project planning, you can always track in a spreadsheet. I actually have a spreadsheet available for that purpose in either Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets. And I'm going to walk you through the key features of that. Let's start with a timeline worksheet. Basically, this is a Gantt chart representation of the calendar, what's happening, where your tasks are. Cell B3 is the start date. The start date you do not have to enter manually. This is generated for you based on the earliest date of the tasks that you enter. It's basic color coding. Red bars are planned. Green is actual and purple is today's date. The tasks are on the left and you navigate the spreadsheet using the scroll bar if you have Microsoft Excel or the scroll increment box. The scroll bar works with the arrow keys or by pages or by dragging the scroll bar. Let's look at the overview. In the overview you have charts to see how you're doing. Task status simply displays the tasks and the current status of those tasks. The cost chart is going to show you your planned versus actual, both the totals and the filtered totals based on what's displayed in the chart. And the display in the chart is based on the filters that you select. You select those filters by clicking on the entries. As you click on the entries, you'll see corresponding chart changes. You can select multiple entries. You can deselect entries. And you can clear all of the entries. Clearing the entries means display everything. Now how does the information get into the charts or the timeline? That occurs in task entry. When you enter a new task, other cells are highlighted to indicate which cells are required to give you the stats you need to make the spreadsheet useful. You enter the data corresponding to that task. In some cases, you'll use drop downs. In some cases, you'll simply enter text. With the exception of the status drop down, all the other drop downs are defined by you. The entries that appear in these drop downs you define for the selections based on the type of project you're working on. Where do you create those drop downs? That's on the drop downs worksheet. Each framed box identifies a particular drop down. You enter information within the frame and that constitutes the particular drop down selections completely in your control. The project planner template is available in both Microsoft Excel and a Google Sheets version. Both versions are free. That is correct. They are free. And I'll include a link to the downloads and the full tutorials of how to use the spreadsheets and what's contained. That'll be in the show notes below. I hope you enjoy them.